Okay, so how do you tell the difference between a fake DuPont and a real DuPont? And I should know, I've had thousands of dollars worth of DuPonts over the years. This is the only one I'm actually left with. I literally have probably lost about $10,000 worth of DuPonts, starting with the first one that was ever given to me by my father. Um, bless him, he gave me a lighter, told me it's a DuPont, it's worth thousands. It was gold given to him by a friend in the 70s. It's probably worth thousands today. It was very, very unique. Um, anyway, I lost that, um, bought another one, lost that one, ended up buying a fake one, found out it was fake, lost that one, or maybe even chucked it after I bought a, another DuPont, which I knew was real. So anyway, so if you want to know how to tell the difference between a real DuPont and a fake DuPont, it's very simple, very straightforward. Um, and I've seen a lot of videos, just people opening and closing. And you hear that noise? It's beautiful. That's DuPont. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. But that is not how to tell a fake DuPont or a real DuPont. This is how. Okay, so fake DuPonts are manufactured, and they're not they're not they're not given this tender love and care. So if you can see at the bottom over here, it says ST DuPont Power is made in France. But right underneath that, right there, see those serial numbers? There you go. You can see them nice and clearly there. Yeah, those as you can see one F S whatever, A, O, three, four, whatever the numbers are, they have been hand stamped with love and care and attention, okay? Uh, if you look at, I don't have a fake one to show, but if you just go ahead and look at Google fake, how to tell a fake DuPont, S, DuPont lighter, and you'll notice a lot of these here, this serial code here is engraved very, very deeply, like uh, just engraved with a machine, not like this, this is, done by hand right like it like like a punch at the bottom of a oh, where's it gone at the bottom of a 14 karat gold ring or a silver ring it's done with love and care it's done with a hand stamp okay so boom stamped with a, a pen type object obviously put it down in a vice and with a pen type object something whatever like this but obviously not this and with a hammer with a hammer right they would then tap it and get, and each one would have a different letter, like a typewriter, right? So that's how they do it. And that is how they tell the difference. So if it's done like this and someone's offering to sell you one and you look underneath, all you need to do is look underneath and check out the way that, that stamp, that's been stamped. And if it's been stamped like this, then it's real. And if it's just been engraved, like I think, I think the ST DuPont is probably engraved but that looks to be engraved by hand i don't know no probably not that's probably by machine i don't know um, but yeah it's engraved so when it's engraved like that by machine that's that's not how it's done this is stamped so that's how to tell the difference between a fake dupont lighter and a real dupont lighter